One of the concepts, one of the strategies that I'm most commonly asked about from the four hour work week is batching. There are many, many, many finer points to this. And quite aside from, of course, 80 20, delegating, outsourcing, Parkinson's law, batching comes up again and again and again. So, what is batching? To explain it in simplest terms, we can talk about laundry. All right, so you wouldn't do your laundry every time you have. A new pair of dirty socks. You wait for a certain critical mass of dirty laundry to accumulate and then you do the laundry. Why? Same with post office. If you have many different types of mail that are going to come together that you need to mail, you're going to wait for a certain critical mass as opposed to just going there for every single letter because there's a setup cost. There is a task switching cost. Getting in the car, driving there, spending the gas, spending the time, laundry, putting it all together, detergent, and so on. Right, so the, the time and labor involved in doing one letter or 20 or one pair of socks or an entire basket of clothing is the same. And you want to be both effective and efficient with your allocation of resources, i.e. time. If you apply those to business, you can apply them in a million and one different ways. And I'll give you a few examples. One of the most common, I suppose, directional questions or specifics that I'm asked about is frequency. Well, do I batch on a daily basis? Do I batch on a weekly basis? Do I batch on a monthly or quarterly basis? And the answer is I do all of those things. But you don't have to try it all at once. And I would not encourage you to do that. I would encourage you to perhaps try one or two approaches and see what works for you. This is a very personal set of techniques. You develop a portfolio that works for yourself. Let me tell you a few things that I and others do. For instance, you might decide that on a given day from the time you wake up until lunch is your primary creation period. This could be writing, it could be recording, it could be anything that is proactively creative and synthesis. Then once you have lunch, you are permitted to do administrative tasks, phone calls, email, triage, calendaring, and so on. I do this quite a lot, uh, particularly from Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, on certain weeks. On a weekly basis, I know the CEO of a very well-known startup, pretty much everyone watching this would know this company, and instead of batching on a daily basis, looking at his week, Monday to Friday, he might have day one, administrative tasks, day two, HR hiring, day three, product, day four, marketing. And on each of those days, he will focus on thematically or categorically those types of tasks. That is yet another approach. And very commonly, I will batch phone calls on Mondays and Fridays. And in, I would say even broadly speaking, this is voice related tasks. So I will have phone calls and podcast recording on Mondays and Fridays. And this helps to prevent also interruptions and task switching that can result if you have miscellaneous phone calls and podcasts scattered throughout the week. It uh, makes it very difficult to do deep work on anything that might require three to five hours of uninterrupted time. On a, on a quarterly basis, uh, you could look at batch producing or completing certain types of normally scattered activities. For instance, I am recording this video right now during a content generation week, where a week is blocked out once per quarter to focus on answering common questions that all of you or my readers or listeners have asked and so on and so forth. On a say six month to yearly basis, I, I have started in the last few years batching travel. Why would I batch travel? I mean, there are many different reasons to batch travel. One of my reasons is that I want to practice being off the grid for extended periods of time to not only remind myself and prove to myself that it is possible to do that, and no, the internet will not stop, the universe will not end if you are unavailable and unreachable for certain periods of time, uh, and also to rejuvenate, to recharge being away from social media and keyboards, and laptops, screens, and so on. Batching is one of the fundamental concepts that you need to understand. If you understand the principle, the reasons for it, the concepts, you can come up with your own examples to experiment with. And these are not permanent changes. Think of them as two-week experiments. One tiny thing that you can test, assuming that it's on a daily or weekly basis, and try it out. See what works.
keep what works, reject what doesn't, add what is uniquely your own, borrowing from Bruce Lee with that. And before you know it, you will have a reliable, dependable way of making yourself more effective and more efficient, which is your bespoke iteration of batching.